You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. to get it straight from the source with your host, Patty and Toranon. Patty is intuitive and will utilize her gift of clairaudience to help you by bridging to the universal truth. Her soul coaching method can help you live an authentic and joyful life. So now, please welcome the host of Get It Straight from the Source, Patty and Toranon. Hello to all the wonderful listeners out there. Welcome, everyone. We are coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. This is your host, Patty and Taranat, broadcasting from my studio in Bethesda, Maryland. You are listening to Get It Straight from the Source. We have Sue Gallagher, my dear friend, as our first guest for the show. And today, Sue and I will talk about the history of the evolution of our friendship. That led us to an amazing spiritual journey together that has brought forth from the QHHT that I practice. So let me give you a little bit of a background of how my relationship with Sue started out. This would help build a foundation to our story, okay? Sue and I have been friends for many decades. Since I was in her business, Sue started out as my head client at first. And you know how it is, right? The relationship between hairstylist and the client. Well, I've always been a shadow box. And Sue has always been a good listener. So we are a good match. I love to talk, and she enjoys listening. But today, she gets to do the talking, and we get to do the listening. Her relationship with me blossoms into something greater than just being a client. And of course, we become a good friend. And we see each other now as a spiritual sister. We have been giving each other all kind of supports in every way. She has been playing a very important role in everything that I do. She helps me find my truth. And now I would like to introduce and welcome Sue to our show so she can tell the richness of the story of our friendship to you all. Here we go. Hi, Sue. Welcome, and Hi, thank Patty. you for being here on the show. Hi. Thank, thank you for having me, and hello to everyone listening on the radio and on the this Internet. Is, this is awesome. So please tell us a little bit about yourself, Sue. Um, well, as everyone heard from Patty, I was originally a hair client of Patty's. Um, I am married. I have actually married my high school sweetheart. I have two amazing grown children, both boys. Um, I work in the medical billing field for a large practice in Fairfax, Virginia. Um, And I would say that I have a pretty extraordinary, ordinary life. (laughs) Indeed. Yeah, so now, please tell us about our journey, your journey with me in this. When did um, our relationship much, when did our relationship become spiritual? I would say pretty much like everyone else who takes the journey to self-awareness. For Patty and I, it was brought on both by uh, illness, Patty with her chronic fatigue, 
And for me, it was rheumatoid arthritis. And it may sound crazy, but Patty would Mm. be doing highlights on my hair and taking me through a guided meditation all at the same time. Mm -hmm. And by the time she had discovered deep meditation and all of its benefits, I always left Patty's place feeling intrigued. Mm -hmm. And I've always been curious about the subject of death. Um, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross wrote many books on death and the stages uh, of death and recovery. Um, And so I read as much as I could get my hands on about death and near-death experiences. And it was not a morbid curiosity, but rather a means to become, for me, closer to God. And I thought that if I could master meditation the way Patty could have had, I certainly could become closer to God. Mm. Um, So at that point, Patty decided that uh, her life was going to take her to Texas, and eventually she came back to Maryland. But in the meantime, I met people who had introduced me to Louise Hayes' books and also Brian Weiss's book, Many Lives and Many Masters. Um, And at that point, Patty had already begun uh, researching the 5D realm, and she chose me to share the information with. Pretty much, that was it. I was hooked. (laughs) So, um, (laughs) and you were very kind, very kind. Mm -hmm. Yes, Patty. As you know, you had also read Many Lives, Many Masters. And I remember having the conversation with her, um, and I told her that the entire concept left me feeling pretty depressed. So you do everything in life as you're supposed to. You treat people the way you want to be treated. You follow the Ten Commandments, and then you die. And you come back to do it all again. And I, what, what is the point in that? Where is the joy in that? And for Patty, you simply said, You come back until you've learned all the lessons that bring you closer to God. And for me, that was the aha moment. Hadn't I been striving to become closer to God? So this was the beginning of the journey. Ah, that is so awesome. And you were very kind. You let me practice on you. You were my guinea pig for any kind that I want to uh, discover. And I'm so thankful that I have you to help me along this journey. And then we get involved with the work of Dolores Cannon. So when did you first learn and get involved with me? You want to tell the listeners about that? Um, so Patty was basically full out searching for all kinds of answers, meditating, listening to radio shows, reading anything that resonated with her. And she discovered a woman named Dolores Cannon. And, um, of course, uh, learning about Dolores Cannon, she figured out that she would be speaking in Front Royal, Virginia, and asked me if I would like to attend. And so, um, and actually, if you don't know about Dolores Cannon, she speaks on the subject of past life regression. So, me and my fascination with many lives and many masters, um, I was anxious to hear what Dolores had to say. So, Patty and I, of course, uh, travel out to Front Royal, and if anybody knows Patty, she was the first person to take the mic when they opened the floor to questions. Um, <laughs> we basically were both totally in awe um, after the show, and Patty took that one step further and decided to sign up for Level 1, learning Dolores Cannon's method of past life progression. Mm-hmm. Which, as you, then, as you know, she went on to level two, and then Dolores decided she needed to handpick some practitioners to carry on her method, and what was the impact for me? Yeah. That's when I became a guinea pig for Patty. <laughs> yes. I remember that um, the lecture was about the three waves of the volunteers and um, the new earth. It was in spring 2011, wasn't it, in Front Royal? 
Yeah, I remembered like just yesterday. You came back and you say, what did you say? You said that, that it was it very was liberating. Liberating, that's right. And it's been liberating both of us ever since. So how did it impact did how did that impact you personally? Would you like to tell the story to the listener about that? Well, that's when I actually became a true guinea pig. Um, Patty had actually learned the hypnosis methods, um, regular his- hypnosis, not QHHT, uh, and needed a guinea pig to be her subject. So she tried to hypnotize me in the uh, barber chair, the haircutting chair that she uses, which was not very successful. Um, so the next attempt at we went through was actually with me laying on the bed and in that session she actually brought through Kuan Yin so I didn't know anything about Kuan Yin but when the next time I went to Patty's house everywhere in the house were uh, mementos of Kuan Yin pictures hanging on the wall statues you name it Kuan Yin was all over Patty's house and (laughs) For her, that was validation that she needed to keep doing hypnosis. Yes, indeed. Yes. So what what do you remember about me att- attempting to become the recommended practitioner for Dolores? Um, I remember that you... We're, we're very well, successful. Um, right now, it is time to take a short break. So when we okay. come back, we will be talking more about Patty's attempting to become the recommended practic- practitioner with Dolores Cannon. So this is Patty and Tara Nutt, your host. You are listening to Get It Straight from the Source on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Stay tuned. We will be right back. The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 BC when the Sumerians invented the first written language and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 B.C. to the time that men began achieving political power around 3,000 B.C. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Welcome back. This is your host, Patty and Taranat. You are listening to Get It Straight from the Source on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Before the break, Sue and I were talking about um, attempting to become a recommended practitioner with Dolores Cannon. And Sue, would you like to take from there? Take it from there? I would like to take it from there for anyone who knows Patty or knows of her, 
she is always thinking outside of the box, and actually, she pretty much likes to make her own box. So uh, she wanted to test this QHHT method, and she really wanted to test it on herself. And because she couldn't hypnotize herself, she asked if she could hypnotize me as her. <laughs> and she called it a surrogate session. So she would videotape the session to send it to Dolores. Um, I know the outcome of the session only because Patty has recounted it to me numerous times. Uh, because as a surrogate, I don't remember anything when I come out from his hypnosis. Yeah. So while, while I was under as Patty, this was an event happening in one of her past lives. Her home was being robbed, and the stress of that situation was coming through my body in the form of heavier breathing, chest rising and falling, and Dolores used that video as an example to the other hand-picked QHHT practitioners. Uh, I believe she said that it was a subject who was deeply under hypnosis. The other thing that made this session unique was that uh, on coming around, I remembered nothing of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, because you go under so deep. So, so deep that you don't remember anything. So, to still become a recommended practitioner, Patty was pretty relentless. After we did um, the surrogate session, Dolores kept talking about the voice, the voice. Uh, you needed to have a good voice in order to be a dedicated practitioner. And Patty was the first member of the team to be recognized for having the perfect voice to put someone under hypnosis, which came as no surprise because the two of us would attend the Natural Living Expos, and one of the exhibitors that we always uh saw was the shaman travel so we went to um the shaman journey and everybody went into their hole in the earth came out and he told us that some people will be given a gift and so he brings us out of it and of course asked did anyone get a gift and patty raises her hand and her gift was her voice. That's right. Which was one of the most important gifts she could have gotten. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. So with this voice, that's what helped me get through everything and become better with everything that I do. It is the voice that takes me very far. Thank you very much for reminding me of that. Um, how did you and I start down to the spiritual path from there? Um, well, the one subject that Patty really wanted to conquer was her husband. Mm, um, that's right. She... Correct me if I'm wrong, but you did try to hypnotize your husband more than once. And That's he right. Not go under because yeah. his conscious mind would would not let go of control, and uh, he wouldn't allow himself to experience any past lives. Not the first time, no. He said that, see, I told you I cannot be hypnotized. I put myself to sleep right away. So I had to do it again and again. And he he got to see several past lives, you know, for the fun of it. That's what he wanted to see. But I couldn't move forward to talk to his higher self, you know, to get the answers. Actually, for me, and not just for him. So, and then what happened next? 
So then you got the message from the higher self that you needed to help your husband and you asked how was that going to happen if uh, he did not allow it to be completed, if you could not reach his higher self. And the higher self said, ask Sue. That's right. <laughs> so I asked, would Sue do? And you know, they said surrogate. I remember that. They said surrogate. So I asked, surrogate, would Sue do it? And they said, ask. So I asked you. And remember what you said? You said, what? I am your surrogate. You want me to be his surrogate? How does it work? And I said, well, <laughs> the higher self said to try it. Yeah. And you said, okay. And that's what happened after that. You want to tell the listeners? This is fun. So actually, Ned, her husband, happened to be home that day. Mm-hmm. And was going to was going to sit in on the session. Mm-hmm. And so Patty basically hypnotized me as her husband, and I believe the message that came through was that he needed to open his heart. Yeah. He so we're gonna. This is this is awesome. We're gonna come back after the short break, okay, to talk more about opening up his heart. You are listening to Get It Straight from the Source on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. This is your host, Patty and Taranat. Stay tuned. Essential Nutrients LLC is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the real of your dreams by making them a reality. Based in Quebec, Canada, Joanne is also a space coach using social media and Skype to work with anyone anywhere around the world. Contact Joanne Charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca. 819-360-3266. Now is your time. Okay, and welcome back to Get It Straight from the Source. I am your host, Patty and Taranak. We are live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Before the break, Sue and I were talking about the surrogate session that we were attempting to do on my husband, Ned. And what happened next? Do you want to tell the listeners? Mm-hmm. Actually, it became a changed man when he heard the message that came through me as the surrogate, speaking as his higher self. He uh-huh. took it to heart, no pun intended, which the message was to open his heart. And uh, as you know, you tell me all the time that he is a changed man ever since uh-huh. that one session. He gave me this gift because at one point, you know, I think he was angry at himself and, you know, the anger could accumulate. So he became 
more angry, and I knew he was just angry at himself. But yet, you know, nobody could really help him um, until Source intervened and said that we need to help my husband. So when we did that, they said that um, I asked how they help him. They said they they were opening up his heart to receive. And then they said, this man, it would take a few sessions. So the second time I asked them, when I was doing my own circuit session, I asked them to help him. And they, I asked, how are you helping him now? And they said, we are infusing the pink energy of unconditional love into his heart. And then later on, Another session, I asked them again to help him some more. How are you helping him now? They said, no more blockage. And ever since then has been a few years. I'm in heaven. He's not an angry person. He's just so sweet, so kind, so good to me. Yeah, very, very loving man. And I'm very thankful that that you were the conduit to, to, to help Source, to help us help my husband. Thank you, Sue. Uh, and so, so now, you learned from from that session that if you could change him, you could change anybody. Yes, yes. It's a hard nut to crack, and we cracked that nut, didn't we? Yeah. Um, you know, I would like to talk more. I'd like for you to talk more about what happened after um, seeing Dolores Cannon in Front Royal in Virginia. We went to town, didn't we? Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> we started playing. We played <laughs> quite a bit with uh, definitely QHHT. I know that when you were doing your training, you uh, hypnotized other uh, people who were taking the course, and they hypnotized you, but you definitely thinking outside of the box were very inquisitive about reaching your own higher self. Right. And I, I know that we did more than one session. <laughs> right. <laughs> that I was, I was Patty. I was a hypnotized Patty. Right. You were me and I hypnotized you as me and then, and I bring in the source of knowledge so I could communicate with. And how many times has I, have I done it, Sue? 20, 30, 40 times? I, I lost count. Every time we get together. Uh, this, yes, at this point now, which is uh, basically where your information comes from, directly from the source. That's right. That's how we get it straight from the source, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, was there any fear for you, Sue? No, I always, interestingly enough, I have always trusted the process. Uh, plenty of people, when I tell them, you know, I'm going to be busy, I can't do something such and such a day uh, because... I'm going to be doing a hypnosis session, and they always look at me funny and say, aren't you afraid you're going to end up quacking like a duck? Or uh, <laughs> things like, well, what if something happens to Patty and you can't come out of hypnosis? And I just, I have always just trusted that uh, the process will take care of itself, and it it always has. And it certainly has given us um, astounding information, mm. extraordinary for, information. Very much so for <laughs> all of us. Yes, phenomenal, right? For all of us. Yes. We all, yeah, yes. we all get so much benefit from this because I ask just any question that I have curiosity about. And I ask for all of us, get message for each one of us. And it's always right on point that we needed to hear, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> yes. And even even though the question may be for you, plenty of times the message comes through and the message is actually for me. Right. So what message for you that you remember that most 
inspired? Definitely the first message was no doubts. Ah. That, that I needed to get rid of my doubts. Yes, yes. You can say that again. You doubt. You have a habit of doubting yourself, doubting everything. This would be so important to talk more about doubt, right? So we will come back and talk more about doubt after this break then, okay? You are listening to Get It Straight from the Source on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Stay tuned. This is your host, Patty and Tara Nutt. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAndAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Welcome back. I'm your host, Patty and Tara Nutt. You are listening to Get It Straight from the Source on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Before the break, we were talking about Sue and the message from Source about doubt. Would you like to entertain us about how you overcome the doubt? So much doubt. <laughs> so much uh, doubt. What, what actually goes into doubt? So lots of thinking. Thinking that, okay, I do trust this process. I know that it works, but it works for everyone else. It doesn't work for me. It works mm. for Patty. It doesn't work for me. It works mm. for Ned. It doesn't work for me. Mm. So uh, too much doubt. <laughs> Always thinking and not just accepting, not just allowing. Um, and Second guessing, I guess, would yeah. be the, the the best way to describe it. Yeah, it took us not, a while to help you. Yeah, what's that? Yes, I was the second hardest nut to crack. <laughs> <laughs> Did we crack your nut? Yes, Ned was no the hardest nut to crack. <laughs> no more doubt. Uh-huh. My husband and my best friend, my two best people, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so now, well, it took us a while, I would say a few years, to help you stop doubting yourself, right? Right? Yeah. Patiently, yeah. the universe and I work on you. We never give up on you, didn't we? Right. And I I actually mentioned that, that you never give up on me. And Source said, we never give up on anyone. 
Mm. So for that, I'm very thankful. I'm tearing. I'm tearing. <laughs> so now, <laughs> no more doubt, right? So where does this no doubt taking you and taking us together into this spiritual journey together? Well, as, as I said about many lives, many masters, and wanting to get closer to God and being able to meditate, being closer to God, um, it's, I've come to the realization this was actually a full circle for me, wanting to become closer to God when, in truth, we all are God. Mm-hmm. And you can't get any closer than that. Mm-hmm. Can you describe what it feels like that we are this God, this love, this light, this joy, this everything? What does it feel like to you? Well, that in itself is very liberating. And I do, I can relate that to uh, Wayne Dyer, who relates it to a pie and he says if you have a pie and you cut a piece of the pie the piece of pie that you cut is still pie yes even one Uh, last clump of it the clump of the the pie we put in a mouth we're still eating a pie that's what he said you're still yes you're still having pie so if we're all created from god then we all must be god Mm-hmm. And a part not of that, that not that that gives you carte blanche uh, that that you can uh, that you're better than anyone else that you're actually not better than anyone else you're actually equal with everyone else right uh, and we're all just high <laughs> right we are no we're lesser or high. greater. Yeah, we are no less a greater, greater than one another. We just have to treat one another like God would, right? There's a movie that called Three Magic Words. The Lord is, the Lord is played in this movie too. And I, I want the listeners to know about this. They can order from Amazon. It's like only $3 or something. This is a unique documentary about consciousness following a journey of a young girl who was amnesia, who has amnesia, and begins a journey to answer the question, who am I? And uh, metaphysical, metaphysic experts explore that question further, and eventually that led to a very, very surprising conclusion. And I'm going to tell that three magic words are... I am God, meaning that the God within us has a magnificent power that we can love ourselves and love others unconditionally like the love of God. So when we claim the divine power within ourselves, we can live our lives like a loving God would in human form, which will bring out the unlimited potentials of what the ultimate love could offer to ourselves and to others. And this is the true meaning of I am God. I am love. I am light. I am kindness. I am compassion. I am, as we claim it. So we work on that quite a bit. So how do you feel now? Can you claim that core essence of your truth now? Yes, and totally liberated to know that I no longer have to judge myself. Mm, That's a biggie. That's a very big one because people do judge themselves. I was one of them. Yeah. So when we judge ourselves, we're starting to feel a whole lot less value, right? And start doubting everything that already around us that would benefit us. So now you stop judging yourself and where does it take you? How do you help yourself and help others through this new finding of non-judgmental like God? Oh, it's just, 
it, it's liberating. It it really is, uh, you know, because I never experienced it before. I have a hard time explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would be nice, you know, to hear firsthand from you of the change that you have. So when when we come back from the break, you can entertain that thought about how you have affected everybody in your surrounding with this new concept of who you are. So we will be right back to talk more about that after the break. You are listening to Get It Straight from the Source on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Stay tuned. This is your host, Patty and Taranat. We'll be right back. My Dreams, My Challenges, and Joys is an inspiring book by author Linda Genazzo. This real-life account of raising a child with autism from birth to adulthood takes you on a journey of compassion, love, and hope as it tells the incredible story of a devoted family and their beloved daughter. Together, they faced adversity and never stopped believing they would find the help they were seeking. A breast cancer survivor, Linda Genazzo has a giving heart. With a background in social work with the mentally ill and the homeless, Linda continues to help families in her community. And her book, My Dreams, My Challenges and Joys, brings greater awareness to autism and those families in need. To purchase your copy, visit www.lindagenazzo.com. It's also available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Don't delay. Get your copy today. Jenny Friend is a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified clinical sexologist, commonly known as a sex therapist, with over 30 years of experience in the field of sexuality. She's been a researcher and teacher and is further trained in human development over the lifespan. She's also a published author and a radio personality. Her specialized training in lifespan developments means she can help individuals, couples, and families through difficult developmental phases. Her primary ways of working are through the tools of cognitive, behavioral, and psychoenergetics theories and techniques. Couples, individual men and women, and families are also welcome. She can meet in her office in Costa Mesa, California, or on the Internet through Skype at Jenny Friend MFT. Call 714-210-9200. You can also send an email from her website at www.centerforclarity.org. That phone number again is 714-210-9200. Welcome back. I'm your host, Patty Interanat. You are listening to Get It Straight from the Source on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Before the break, we were talking about Sue and her change with a new concept. And Sue, would you like to tell our listeners about the change, how that affects others and influence others? It is actually a true lightness, uh, lightness of being not heavy, uh, releasing the judgment, um, seeing everything from the positive and only having a positive effect, only having a, a positive response. And it just uh, gives you, uh, it puts a little lightness in your step. It, uh, you are not you're no longer weighed down. You're no longer heavy. Mm. Mm. Nice to feel so light. Yes. Yes. So every day now, what do you start your day with? Now, well, before I get out of bed, the first thing I say is rise, 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 rise to bring my vibration up and a daily practice of meditation. Mm. Yes. And That's what... Mm-hmm. That is something that uh, that I actually look forward to, um, and I do it first thing in the morning um, mm-hmm. after I've had coffee, <laughs> after I've had <laughs> breakfast, mm-hmm. uh, before I exercise, but... Um, and I don't... I basically just listen to my own frequency, and uh. through that, messages come through 
else, maybe something for the day, maybe something for someone who has shared a problem with me, some uh, solution to their problem. Uh, mm. Other other times it's just basic uh, peacefulness. Mm. And it's, that's a nice, nice way to start the day. Rising out of bed that way. Yeah. The, the next two... The, uh, in a couple episodes in the future, I want to talk about meditation, and I want to talk about that frequency that we hear, because some people may not hear that frequency. What does it sound like to you? To me, it's very similar to holding a seashell to your ear, uh, the same sort of noise. I think some people liken it to hearing a mosquito buzzing around, but mine is mm. more um, more electric, I would say, uh, than than um, a buzzing. Yeah. So that's very helpful, the more right? I meditate, mm-hmm. Pardon? It's the very more helpful I meditate, when you do the that. More I yeah. Hear it. yeah. Uh, yeah, because when you focus on it, you stop thinking because you are the kind of person that, that you think a lot. You have a lot of thought yeah. processing in your yeah. mind. So that that's a very good tool to listen with your inner ear to your own frequency that rising. And the more we tune into it, become more in tune, the sound just get louder but it's a very very comfortable soothing sound right yeah yeah Yeah. we can't describe we can't even compare this sound to anything yeah yeah and i'm not sure that everyone would hear the same thing (laughs) right but some people you know when i suggested to try some people i don't hear it so i wonder if if there's anything that we could help them Go a little bit deeper to to listen to that. And you said it sounds like put a sea shell next to you. Yeah, I like that. I like the way you described it. I'm going to use that to help people to to pretend that they have their seashell, put it on the ear, and get to listen to some sound. And that's within themselves. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So then the other thing is, to, you know, if they can't hear the frequency, just listen to their own heartbeat. Ah. And, uh, yes, yes, I do that too. Yeah. Yeah, so frequency, heartbeat, and focus yeah. in following the breath. Yeah. And aware getting into aware your of heart. the breath. Mm-hmm. Yes, into and, your heart and out of your head. And start making the connection with the heart. So you were, would you say that you were the kind of person that thinking from the head for a while because you doubt. Doubt is is, is a very big, what would you say, um, something that would hold anybody's back from moving forward, right? So now, yes, now you are saying, (laughs) yes, Uh uh-huh, uh-huh. But no more. It's gone. No. You know? yes. It's gone. Yes. You, you, you made it happen. You know, this is a free will. Even the universe, source, God, cannot right. interfere with your free will. So thank yourself every day for accepting this. This has been very helpful. Yeah. So where else has your spiritual path taken you? Um, you know, I would say just a basic kindness to other people, mm-hmm. which is huge. Mm. That's and service to other people. Mm. That is huge kindness to everyone. We all need to have that to one another. And yeah, focusing on being of service to others is so important. Well, we will be back. After this short break, talking more about this bringing out the kindness and services to others as we allow ourselves to be more of this true self that, that who we are. So this is your host, Patty Interanat. 
You are listening to Get It Straight from the Source on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact the symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact the symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. Welcome back to our last segment. You are listening to Get It Straight from the Source on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. This is your host, Patty and Taranat. Before the break, my guest Sue and I were talking about the change within her that affected other people and influenced others as well, that bring out kindness. And now she can focus on being of service to others. So by being service of others, just kindness alone, we get to be of service to others. But I know you do other things too. We did something together that now we get to help other people as well. You want to talk about that a little bit? We help with the healing, the, the healing work that we do together sometimes. Oh, so Patty and I are both pure bioenergy practitioners. Uh, healing through manipulating the energy and the body. Um, And it is, uh, I've had great results healing sciatic pain, knee pain, uh, just general wellness, giving people their energy back, uh, taking away migraine headaches. uh, And it's healing through touch. Mm Mm-hmm. I think I show you about this pure bioenergy that I would like to take class that you saw it. You say, I'm in. I want to go too. Yeah. So we get as to practice on each video, other. That it was so simple, 
I just, uh, I had to do it. <laughs> yeah, just just like bringing in the source energy to help with the healing. Yeah, the thing is that we need to help people understand that we the one that get our, ourselves sick. So we are the one that get ourselves well. Source could help, right. but still we have to change the way we think. The way we talk, the way we act, change the characters, change the whole belief system. So the healing would be permanent. Just like you, doubt is gone. Imagine if you bring back the doubt. If you're still doubtful about all the things that's available to you, how would that work for you? It uh, wouldn't. If I were to start feeling doubtful again, I would be uh-huh. back in pain. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And I remember so I said that they had to put it back in the surface for you. So you would do this work because you were still doubting. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because you re- you remember only what I told you what being said because you don't even like to listen to the recording. It's so weird to you. Yeah. So right. we are within this last segment now. And as we are moving forward, to the end of the show. Wow, I can't believe this is so much fun to be talking to you, Sue, on a live radio show. You know, we we have a whole lot more to talk about, and we want to entertain our wonderful listeners about our story because we get to experience this phenomenal experience unexpectedly, repeatedly, all the time. So... Next time, I would like for you to come back, Sue, to talk about the healing, okay? So next week, make sure you tune in. We will have Sue Gallagher to be back on the show. We will talk- This has been Get It Straight from the Source with your host, Patty and Torinot. Join Patty each week and learn to listen to your inner guidance for real and positive change. Right here on Get It Straight from the Heart with Patty and Torinot. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.